viewer. What? You need to watch Executive Decision. What? What do you mean, what? You need to watch Executive Decision, new movie. What? <laughs> All right, well, um, why don't you tell us what the plot of this new to Netflix movie is? Well, it's from 1996. From. <laughs> it's from 1996. 96, you say? 1996, there was a movie that came out called Executive Decision. Huh. That was the name of that movie that came out in 1996. Hold on, that's the one we just watched. It is, huh. coincidentally. It's new to Netflix. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, it's your, it's your basic classic, pretty much perfect. Terrorist takes over a plane movie and SWAT team takes them down. Opening the other hatch. A life or death decision. I hope there's a good movie on this plane. For 400 hostages in a plane. Keep it going. Or 40 million civilians on the ground. You can forget Washington. There's enough nerve agent here to wipe out half the eastern seaboard. There's many threads to the movie compared to like 7500. Yeah, 7500 being a movie we watched a couple of weeks ago about the same thing. So guys. This is focused around one guy and a very tight situation. Yeah. This is like as far reaching as you sort of see the, the White House's headquarters, the Pentagon, and all that sort of stuff happening. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This had politicians, terrorists, soldiers, scientists, fighter planes, bomb diffusing, laser grid, dead pilots, emergency crash landings. So much sweat and a lot of sneaking. Location. I can't get out. I can't get out. Location. I'm not gonna make it into work today. 7500 was like exactly 90 minutes. Yeah. And it was pretty much perfect. This one thought. This was 2012. Mm. And going into it, I was like, yeah, this better be good. Yeah. God, why am I doing this? They didn't even get onto the plane until 40 minutes into the movie. Yeah. So the first 40 minutes is spent setting up the CLT, setting up Kurt Russell's character, who's a, uh, an analyst. He's a hero in many forms. But, but you're, you're right, the movie starts out in this way where you're like, oh, I see how this is going to finish. Yeah. Which is, Kurt Russell is getting flying lessons. He's just about to do his first solo flight before he gets interrupted with a very important phone call. God, why am I doing He's literally the first thing you see him doing. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I wonder why they're showing us this. Yeah, it's all this <laughs> foreshadowing in the movie. Location. In position. Miracles abound. Drill status. Ready. Good. Initiate operation. Good professionals. There must have been a lot of belief in this movie, because there's a lot of... Uh, quite famous faces in it. Yeah, well, Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell, Stephen yeah. Segal, John Leguizamo. Uh, I've got a big list here. Oliver Platt. Oliver Platt. Um, it's got, um, what's his name from Scrubs? Yes. Yeah. Kelso. Kelso from Scrubs. What's his name? <laughs> Ken Jenkins. So we've got Kurt Ken. Russell, Stephen Segal, Halle Berry, David Suchet, John Leguizamo, Oliver Platt, Joe Morton, and B.D. Wong. They're the first eight names. And that's sort of the SWAT team and the crew on the plane. You'll probably know all those faces. The movie really hinges on this, the tension of uh, these guys who are boarding the plane, the board of the plane doesn't go right. Yeah. And so they sort of lose members of their team that are important to the mission. It and, goes wrong. And equipment they needed. Yeah, it goes wrong straight away. Yeah. And, and, and that happens throughout the whole movie. They keep having to um, improvise mm. a new solution. You know, they have a current solution, that falls apart, new solution. Two, and two hours, 12 minutes later. <laughs> Tension and drama, left, right and centre. And it was, a, it was good, I thought. And all the performances were awesome. And the tension was there. I just thought there, there was a couple of things that were it could have done better. Mm. I.e. it could have been a touch shorter. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I thought Halle Berry was probably the weakest actor in it. She wasn't that believable. It was very early days for her acting, right? Any audio yet? Negative. Any minute now. 
back then. Yeah, it was. She was really young in it. What are they saying? Can they see us? Not a chance. I would know. What's this thing? I don't know. What's going on here? I think they may be onto us. <laughs> Plan B. Plan B. Well, they seem to have gone. Hmm. Whatever. Anyway, uh, what were we talking about? The problem that I had with it was um, what the politician's room, Secretary White, <laughs> and his very white people. The White House and the White Room. And the yeah, old, there was the so old many, white people. There was a scene where I think I even said out uh, loud, hey, can, we get a, can we get a woman in here? Can we get a black guy in here? <laughs> Please. Can we get someone? Uh, I've got, anybody got any new ideas? And they look around at basically clones of the one guy. Yeah. I think the same as you do. We're running out of options. Oh, whoop. This is clearly pre-9-11. Yeah. Um, because you get uh, box loads of AK-47s somehow on the yeah. plane, two different locations, yeah. where the terrorists just suddenly open a hatch and they're pulling out guns. I and you're like, remember. what? Oh, uh, one of the more memorable parts of this movie, I guess it's because there's like, the reason, one of the reasons why it takes so long is that there's sort of like, within that little thing that's happening on the plane, you've got two guys doing a bomb defusal. One guy re doing reconnaissance, one guy setting something up, one guy who's monitoring all the cameras. Plus you've got the bad guys, you've got the pilots, and you've also got the people at home, the, the ready room or whatever. Mm -hmm. so, so you've got to cover what every one of these groups thinks about what's happening. <laughs> and it takes a long time. But it all came together really well. It seemed to be sort of well woven. Bro, I've been thinking about getting horses. Those things are great. Horses? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, horses. I like a horse. A good horse. Yeah. A bad horse. I horses. like them all. Horses. 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 You can ride a horse. Mm. Yeah, horses. horses. Yeah, hey, you can ride a horse. Yeah, horses. Yeah, horses. 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 Uh, horses. 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 Ask about horses again, I'll slap you red. There's a bit of like military or aircraft pornography, basically. They had a lot of good shots of this plane. And they obviously did fly um, fighter jets next to it and make it, you know, wave at it and do all that sort of stuff. They seem quite realistic. Yeah, I was impressed with their shots off the plane from outside and off the fighter jets. They didn't do it on the cheap. They clearly had mm. real planes. One more time, Oceanic Flight 343, come right, zero, two, zero. Mm. The credits font yeah. was one of the ugliest credit fonts we've ever seen. It had, it was like, <laughs> it had writing, white writing, yeah. over the, the picture of the plane. Okay. It's like shed black shadow of it, it like, you know, like it's floating, nice floating like an inch off the paper. It just looked like a horrible mess. <laughs> but then the background fades into black, and then you don't see those shadows. Oh, okay, man, it was for it was a hain dog. For a moment, you were like, "I'm not watching this anymore. Like, I'm done with this." <laughs> God, why am I doing this? I'm telling you, I saw <laughs> Americans, <laughs> soldiers. Now, what sort of biscuit would this be? It certainly felt like a 90s movie. I'd go, um, yeah, it did. Yeah. Had that 90s movie Hollywood feel. And that look. Yeah. yeah. I'd go for a hundreds and thousands biscuit because there were um, hundreds and thousands of good actors in this and hundreds of thousands of things going on. Um, oh, it's in a pack of those, I don't know, 20? Okay. Yeah. I'd give it a... Oh, I'd give it 16 out of 20. Really? Hundreds and thousands of biscuits, it's up there. Um, probably a higher rating than I would normally give because Kurt Russell's in it and I'm a big fan.
I would give it a, probably a 15 out of 20 myself. Okay. Um, Explain! Just could have been a little shorter. That's all it is, really. Mm. There were a few bits where I was like, yeah, you, we've cut to the ready room being worried about 25 times. Yeah. Maybe you can watch it for yourself. You've got a Netflix. It's on Netflix. Yeah. It's good. Yep. Got yeah. added on there a week ago. Yeah. And if you don't like that, go and watch 7500 for a different experience on a plane. Yeah. And if you don't like that, well, watch something else. Yeah, watch Airplane for a different experience on a plane. Yeah, that's a different story. Yeah. Mm. Well, I could go on for hours, but I'd probably start to bore you. You know, I really couldn't blame Elaine if she wanted a career. And they built those roads. They had no thought of drainage in mind. So we had to take a special jeep up to the main road. I'm an asshole. It looks like we stuck the landing. It's it's the bad bird. It's the bad amateurs.